this episode, Rick and I continue our exploration of WA and all of its glories. We find a magnificent spot to camp called Lucky Bay. We do some wonderful camp cooking and then we go on and we explore Kalbarri National Park, which is absolutely spectacular. Hope you enjoy the journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know why goats go on their knees? No. It's because they go under the mum. Oh. That's a sort of a natural reflex. So where are we, Jamie? <laughs> We're at Albino. Uh, this is a beautiful property that we've stopped in and camped on the night uh, for the night last night and now we're doing a tour, an animal tour. We'll go and see what they've got. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a big piece. Oh. <laughs> that, was a, that was a cow piece. Oops. <laughs> Probably uh, a little more chance with that. Oh, if you put, no, I, I, I will put your fingers out of the way because I don't have glasses on. <laughs> and they have only that big of a brain, guys, yeah. on such a huge bird, which is healed up, guys. <laughs> You can throw it at a pig. You didn't know that we use like cowards? You didn't know that we use like cowards? They're pretty crazy now. Always want to find them, right? Yes. Oh, hi. You're beautiful. So this is the Port Gregory Convict Hiring Depot, 1853 to 1856. This is the restored depot building that we're standing in, which apparently would accommodate 80 convicts. Imagine 80 people in here. The medical officer Joseph Horrocks was stationed at the depot. And there's actually a town called Horrocks just down the road. Guess it was named after him. Should I take you into prison? I'm gonna go to jail again. The walls are thick. They are not big cells. I'm guessing this is the exercise yard and in here I don't know maybe the guards quarters but those cells are tiny Who lived here Ricky Bay? Well this is the magistrate's quarters Oh didn't he got fancy digs hey? He did Some little spot. Where are we? Linton. Linton. Somewhere on the West Australian coast. Hey Ricky. Yes. What did we find? A pink lake. Pink lake! <laughs> Guess what? It's pink. I'll show you. Ricky's just getting his drone ready. We'll get you some real footage of a pink lake. Do you know how many pink lakes there are in Australia? Well this is the third one we've come across and the first one that is pink. Check that out! Whoop, whoop.
am coming to you from uh, Lucky Bay in Western Australia. It's the one that's uh, north of Geraldton, not the one down south. Um, I'm just going to show you what we've got cooking. We're actually, um, it's a beautiful campground here, absolutely huge with lots and lots of sites and um, really long beach that you can drive all along. And you know what, there's heaps and heaps of sand dunes. If you've never been sand driving, I tell you what, this would be the spot to actually try and learn. Um, just off the beach too is a really long rock shelf, like a reef, uh, that goes all the way along. And then towards the northern end of the beach, there's actually um, like a lagoon that forms where the rocks join the beach. So Rick and I have been out there spearing a couple of times. Well, we went out snorkeling yesterday and today we took the spear out. Um, yesterday was remarkable. We couldn't believe how many fish were out there. Um, today though, we did not come back with a fish. We came back with something else. I'm going to give you a look at what's in the pot here on the fire. What do you think that looks like? So <laughs> Rick's pulled out of the water carrying a massive octopus. <laughs> it was all wrapped around his spear. It was quite hilarious to watch. And then it was even more hilarious to watch me try and uh, prepare it for cooking because the damn thing kept su su suctioning onto me even when it was dead. So we've taken it out of the boiling water, we've put a bit of um, chilli flakes, some Italian herbs in there, we're going to give it a slosh, give it a slosh of olive oil, Ricky B. Bit of salt and pepper. Or, yeah, I've put pepper, I haven't put salt, I'm never quite sure with seafood how salty it's going to be, so I think I'll leave the salt out for now. Alright. Give that a mix around. Oh, he's getting his hands in there. Oh, look at it. Mm. All the tentacles coming off. Oh my god, it feels gross. <laughs> I think he's enjoying himself. Uh. Should we leave you alone? <laughs> <laughs> I think we need a little bit more olive oil, my love. I will do that for you. That'll think, I think that'll do it. All okay, right. so the next step will be to go and slap those on the barbecue. Yeah. We've got the fire, it's burning hot. I've got a couple of taties over there as well in the foil. Made a little salad. Uh, let's go char them up, Ricky Bear. Happy days. I dare you to lick those hands. No. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey Ricky, what are we doing? We're four wheel driving on a sand dune. Are we? Hmm. Oh, hang on. Let me just, I just want to check something. Hey Ricky. You're in two wheel drive. It's because it's a night nice easy, mate. It goes anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Today we are leaving our camp spot where we've really enjoyed our time and it's um, it's called Lucky Bay. I think we've introduced you to it a little bit. Um, we've really enjoyed it because it's just got such a variety of things uh, on offer. So the campground itself is really big, lots of space. Everyone's really spaced out. Good um, solid bases but sandy as well. Um, they've got shelters, toilets, uh, you can actually go and camp down on the beach as well. Yep. Which is amazing. And all that for $15 a night, which is really reasonable. Yeah, it's The unreal. only thing they don't have, of course, is water. Um, so you do have to be well prepared when you come in. And we are a fair way from anywhere, aren't we? Yeah. If you do go camping on the beach, you do need a chemical toilet. So make sure you bring one of those. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the beach extends probably five kilometres or so. There's heaps of places to camp. Lots of dunes to play on. Um, yeah, lots of dunes. It's so much fun. Fantastic if you mm. really need practice with your sand driving. Um, big lagoon. We would have showed you that. Um, and uh, spearfishing. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. The weather's been absolutely glorious for us. It is changing a bit today, so mm. we're leaving. <laughs> Go and find somewhere dry. Uh, we're not far from Calbarry, so we're going to head into Calbarry National Park today, aren't we? Yep. Should be fun. See what it's got on offer. Bye.
National Park is definitely a bucket list item. There's so much to see and do. We only spent one day, but you could spend numerous days covering everything that it's got on offer. Aboriginal artworks, sculptures, of course the views are incredible. And of course the Skywalk, amazing experience and a big thumbs up and well done to Ricky B. Ben. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're currently at Blowholes Campground, which is part of Quabba Station, isn't it? That's correct. And the flies are something. Yeah, they're yeah. horrendous at the moment. So this is giving you the truth. Um, loving it. But it is, it's a gorgeous place. Um, so we're going to wrap up the video there. Really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we've got a lot more to come. Where did we go after Calberry? Oh. Um, to Gregory's campground, which is in which national park? Francois Perron National oh, Park. Francois Perron. <laughs> <laughs> um, which, if anyone knows Monkey Mire, of course, it's up on the same peninsula, so absolutely glorious. Um, from there, we headed up to Carnarvon, and from Carnarvon, we've come up here. So, we've got a fair bit more to show you. Uh, so, there will be another video coming pretty shortly, I reckon. Yeah, well, I think we'll um, after here we're up to 14 Mile Campground. Yep. And then up to Exmouth where we do the whale sharks. So lots to come. Lots to come. Yeah, exciting times. So you guys, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, please like and subscribe and don't forget to tell your friends. <laughs>